I'm Jashikins, and welcome to another little mm, mm, random rants. Don't know why the fuck I just did that. <laughs> and uh, today's little vlog is about Hive choosing Daisy on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Now, I know it's like, oh, it's been an episode since this happened, but guess what? I didn't make a vlog at that time, and I still want to make a vlog, so fuck it. And so, Hive choosing Daisy makes sense in the, in the story and also behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, Daisy is the main character. I know there's like all these other characters with their own awesome stories, but we started with Daisy, then known as Sky, and that was our starting point. She's the one that the whole show sort of revolves around just by the fact that that was our starting point. When we started the series, she was the one asking the question, she was the outsider. So, <laughs> so. You don't just, for something this big, you shouldn't just choose someone new that's like, okay, we are invested with him or her for like a season. No, we, we want something a little more long-running. And the most long-running inhuman we have had on the show is Daisy. And so yeah, behind the scenes, that makes perfect fucking sense. And uh, in the sense of the story, Ward is still fucking in love with Daisy. Now, yes, it's Hive speaking through Ward, but as we have seen, the minds of the people Hive has infected and killed <laughs> plays a part in Hive's actions. I mean, why else would he be so cruel to Mal Malik? I was about to say Malark, and like, oh, that, that doesn't make sense like, at all. But Malik, like, he didn't have to be so cruel. He didn't have to set up these reminders that, you know, Hive knew what had happened. Hive didn't have to kill Malik's daughter. He didn't have to. It didn't have to, but it did. So some of those memories, some of those personas, some of those personalities still play an effect on Hive. And so the word part of Hive would be going, I really fucking want Sky to like me, and this is the way to do it. This is the way to make us a couple. And so Hive needs someone on the inside of S.H.I.E.L.D. who can get what it wants, does what it wants. And so I was like, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll do this. We'll get, we'll get Daisy, okay, she's definitely very high ranking in S.H.I.E.L.D. or, you know, she's, you know, the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. likes her, so I was like, yes, yes, that, that's good, that's a good choice, and so, yeah. And with that said, I am glad, I am fucking glad that Daisy still hates Ward, that, you know, this, this could have been such an easy way for you know, to, for, to make Daisy and Ward a thing again. But they didn't go that route. It was like Daisy is infatuated with Hive. You know, Hive has this dopamine or whatever that really makes the person infected feel really, really happy. Like, you know, an addiction level happiness. And so she. Daisy can tell that part of Ward is in Hive, and still influencing Hive, but she's like, yeah, you're different. You're not him. So that's like, it's like, yes, you can't have this, and you don't have to have them as a couple. And the thing is, for me, they were never a good fucking couple. 
I mean, it's like they seem to be so shoved into my face. I was like, no, no, that can't be. Oh my god, where the fuck did this come from? It's like, ugh. But, you know, there might be a good way to do Daisy and Ward in the future, but there's going to be having a lot more shit to make it a lot more natural. I think that it could be done, but I... But personally, I don't think it's really worth the effort, but hey, hey. So yeah, <laughs> that's, uh, that's my feelings on Hive choosing Daisy. It makes sense behind the scenes and in the universe it's set in. So what do you think? Did you, what did you think of when High, you found out Hive chose Daisy? Were you like, oh my god! We are like, woot woot, I didn't like that Daisy anyway, woot woot. Or were you screaming at Josh Weed? I mean, all of us Weedonites have those moments of like, you have pained us so much, Weedon, but we're, we're going to keep on coming back. I'd like to know your answers, so comment below. On my Twitter right now, at Jashikins, I... I do have a poll, and I think it has, like, one day left, so if you want to, yeah. <laughs> I got 14 votes so far, and the most of them were like, oh my god! <laughs> so, uh, I have been Jashikin's owner at jashikins.blogspot.com. If you go to my vlogity vlog, you can see stuff like this. You know, these v -locks. sometimes these v are fucking awesome. And sometimes they're... <laughs> Any, anyways, uh, I'm working on the next chapter of The Dawning, so... And the Flight Rising giveaway is going on now, so... Oot. So check that out. If, if you're on Flight Rising and you like Sky Dancers, that's a good giveaway because they're just Sky Dancers. <laughs> I don't know why the fuck I'm laughing at that. And on the sidebar thingy, there's a dragon, new dragons still waiting to be named. So I don't, the last time I checked, it didn't seem like the dragon had ge gendered or not. So, eh. and there's a poll you can vote in right now. It's about your opinions on the season six finale of The Walking Dead. And... Uh, there's like maybe 11 to 14 days left and no one has voted. And remember, if I get at least five votes on any of my polls on my blog, I will make a vlog. So if you don't notice a lack of, of vlogs about poll results, that's why I have not gotten enough to do a poll, get and do a vlog. <laughs> and the next parts, uh, I'm going to be mentioning links, and if you're watching this on the YouTubes, links are in the description, and if you're watching my blog, the blog links are on the sidebar thingy, or the fucking sidebars, Ooh, I, I, I don't, I, I don't really know anymore. Anyways, I am writing a web series called Chronicles of Gaia. It's post-apocalyptic science fiction, people turning into animals, <laughs> humans invading Earth, and uh, most recently, the bonus, the first ever bonus chapter has been released. Now, to view the full bonus chapter, you have to be. A, a, a donator to my Patreon. And donating to my Patreon, besides viewing bonus chapters, you can view all other bonus content. And when I have a preview of one of the chapters from the main series, you can view it ahead of time because I'll put a preview out in like in a week or so, the chapter will be released onto the blog. So, you know, you donate, you view those ahead of time, you don't have to fucking wait. And if all that isn't enough for you to donate to my Patreon, uh, there are other perks. This Patreon funds my whole blogging, not just Chronicles of Gaia. And for $1 a month, you get updates on my ebooks, 
for five dollars a month you get a 30 minute vlog featuring moi and every now and again there will be random r reviews that you can only view if you donate to my patreon and i don't tend to do episode reviews so like the majority of episode reviews will most likely be on patreon so woot and let's see let's see and i do writing commissions on fiverr so if you have anything you want to be written go ahead and seek me out there just be aware i'm working on a huge huge writing commission right now like the longest i have ever done i think it's been like a month or so since working on it it's like i write some and i turn it into the person and like oh make these changes and once the part is you know like okay that's all good then i go to the next part so it is it's it's a labor of love i really do like this person who's uh doing who i'm writing for so or else you know i probably wouldn't have been so like yeah whatever <laughs> and i have a cafe press shop and i make new designs once a week and sometimes i expand and this coming week i might just expand on a design or two and and yeah that's that's really it and until next until next video goodbye